This is Steve Schiffman, and I want to thank you for joining me this week and every week, virtually every day, that we talk about sales. That's all this show is about. This podcast, this webcast, is to help you as a salesperson be more effective. And promise I made to you when I first started, the promise I wrote to you when I first started, I will never, ever give you sales dribble, sales nonsense. I'm not going to give you all that crap to people give you. You know what I'm talking about. You go to some program, rah, 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 and then you get done and you have no notes. There's just nothing to write down. I want you to write things down. I want you to go away today being enthusiastic, but also having the skills necessary to get the deals. Now, there are four things that you need to be able to do. You need to be able to prospect. That's number one. You, if you're not prospecting, when I say prospecting, I mean looking for somebody new to talk to, you're not going to win. Number two, you need to be able to make a presentation. A presentation that makes sense, that's geared towards them, not towards you. I know you want to sell, but you can't tell them that. You know, hey, you want to sell. Although, you probably could if you did it the right way. But suppose you just simply said, to the person, you know, I noticed on the way over that you're not on our customer list as somebody who's buying from us. I'm just curious, why not? Isn't that a great line? You could use that. Now to get a whole discussion going about what they've done in the past, the future, what their plans are. It'll start out. If you just simply say that, you could say that. I'll give you an example. I work with BP Oil in Australia. We went to every major city in Australia. There were a number of them. Australia's huge. And what I did with the representatives who sell against every other oil company, after all, oil lubricants is the same. And there's plenty of lubricants around the world. I simply had the reps go in and say to each independent dealer, hey, I noticed you got mobile, you got shell. Just curious, how come you don't carry BP? That's all they said. How come you don't carry BP? Well, some people said, I don't make that decision. They don't know, I know where to go. But a lot of them did. See, a lot of the people that make the decision about lubricants are on the floor. They're working with the, the cars or the trucks. They make the decision. They never thought about changing. They never thought about it. That's the number one answer. They never thought about it. But here's your opportunity. They said they never thought about it. Oh, well, do you mind if we test it with some of your trucks? Do you mind if we put some of the lube down? And this, by, let me tell you how much lube there is in different varieties. Do you mind if we do this? Could we try this? Nine times out of 10, the answer on that case was, yeah, why not? And they'd run the test. In some cases, it worked well. In some cases, it was okay. In some cases, similar to what they had. So that's another way. You could walk in and say to somebody, you know, I notice you're not buying from us. Just say it. Just say it. But you're going to be afraid. I know you are. I know that that phrase is going to get caught in your throat and you're not going to be able to get it out. But that's all you have to say is how come you're not buying from us? But you can't say it. You're going to do instead some kind of thing. Gee, I want to do your business. What does it take to get your business? You're going to say that. And that's crap. Don't ever say to somebody, what does it take to get your business? I got to lower the price. I got to jump up and down. I got to go through hoops. Why don't you just say that up front? Mr. Prospect, do you mind if I jump over some hoops to get your business? Say that if you're happy saying that. That's nonsense. And by the way, when somebody gives you a hard time, it's time to walk out. If you call somebody up and they say, look, I don't talk to you. I don't talk to people like you. Hey, have a good day. Hang up. Go find somebody else. I went on a sales call and I sat down with two guys, major financial institution, two guys, Wall Street guys, MBAs, CPAs, PPAs. And I went through what I do. I said, okay. They say a word till right there. They said, okay. We want you to submit a proposal to us. I knew nothing about them, about their people. 
mail it to us. There's a key word, mail it to us. We'll look at it. And if we're interested, we'll call you back. I said, uh, I, I, I don't work that way. I said, I got to come back and we got to talk about my recommendation and how it fits and budget and blah, blah, blah. I told him, well, we're not going to do that. You send it to us and we like it and we'll call you. I go, then you see, I don't work that way. I, I, I got to have you involved in what I'm going to do. Well, see, we don't work that way. I said, okay, give me back my business cards. Give me back my brochure. Give me back my material. Give me back my books. And they're looking at me and they're, they're in shock. And I'm just packing everything up in the briefcase. I'm just packing it away. I said, here are your cards back. But obviously, I'm not talking to them again. Here are your cards. They were in shock because nobody had ever said to them, I'm not going to sell you. I eventually got the account with other people. Major account. Turned into a major account, which I knew it was. But do you understand? Sometimes you got to go, uh-uh, I'm not playing this game. If somebody says to you, mail it, it's over. Somebody says to you, we'll look at it and get back to you. It's over. So you need to have a process. You need to know what you want to say, when you're going to say it, how you're going to say it. So first thing is you need to prospect. You need to meet more people. And I recommend to you that you're meeting five, listen to me, five new people every week. Five new, new people every week. That'll give you eight appointments total. You should go back. Five new people a week. You need to be able to make a presentation. The fact of the matter is, you just need to be able to discuss with intelligence how your product or service helps them do what they do better. But you gotta know what they do. You have to have product knowledge. Product knowledge in the sense that you understand how your product works. But don't, don't, please don't be an IBM tech. Don't do that. You're not, you're going to pull the guy. He's not going to listen to you. Because he's probably not. And if he is, then you bring in a tech. And the last thing that you need is personal and professional development. Things that you do for yourself every day, every week. You've got to take care of yourself. You are the single most important person in this world. And if you're not doing something to help yourself, something to say, you know, I'm important. You're doing yourself an injustice. Don't do that. Don't do it to yourself. So you need the prospect. And by the way, that's 45% of your success is to finding somebody and telling what we do. You need to be able to make a presentation, knowing full well that you don't have all the information. You need to be able to understand your product and how it's adaptable, malleable, to what they do. And finally, professional personal development. Those are the four characteristics of really successful, successful, world-class salespeople. If you're thinking about this, you know that I can help you if you want to be. It's up to you. Write me an email. Say, hey, what do you do? How do you do it? I'll tell you. In 10 minutes today, I gave you more information than you get from 40 minutes listening to all this nonsense out there about how to sell. Run around in circles. I call that gerbil salesmanship. Run in circles, run around in circles, go around in circles, and eventually someone's going to stop you and feed you. We had years ago two little gerbils for the kids. One of them, Fred, figured out why run around. We were going to feed him anyway. He never ran. He just sat there. Are you the gerbil going around? I hope not. Anyway, write me a note. If you put in the note the word, or two words, root beer, you have a chance to win a brand new book that I send you free. It's a pretty good deal. If you want to call me, call me, email me. Go on a website, you get the number there, call me. Do that. Now, let me know what you're doing. Let me know how this works here. I've gotten some tremendous, really tremendous emails from some people all across the world. And I do a lot of personal coaching as well as on-site presentations. Anyway, this is Steve Schiffman. I want to thank you for joining me today. And as always, your presence humbles me.